question that comes up a lot is how long does the abrasive last in a, a vapor honing machine? And really to answer that question, it really depends on what you're blasting. What, what is the substrate? Is it aluminum? Is it brass? Is it bronze? Is it steel? Is it cast iron? Those are all, of course, different, different substrates that you're going to be blasting. And so that's all going to affect the lifespan of the abrasive. But the general rule of thumb uh, when you compare a wet cabinet to a dry cabinet is any consumable in a wet cabinet, including the abrasive, lasts eight to ten times longer than a dry machine. <clears throat> so, uh, and again, the reason for that is the water is cushioning the abrasive particle from actually hitting that surface with force and exploding and breaking the abrasive particle down. Uh, one thing to note, depending on what you're doing, if it's, you know, if it's coating preparation or if it's surface finishing CNC parts, uh, or if it's, uh, you know, restor restoring, you know, antique motorcycle parts or car parts, you're going to be able to know when the abrasive breaks down. You're going to be able to see the finish change. There's going to be a definite difference between the surface finish level of when you began with that abrasive and when it's spent and when it's used up. And uh, again, it's all by sight. Uh, you can see the finish start to degrade. I'm going to say it's going to turn to a matte finish. Uh, but I just want to show you to the side. We have some parts that we're going to show you, you know, what they should look like uh, and what the abrasive should, should be doing to your parts uh, from a restoration standpoint. So let's just bring the camera over real quick and we'll show you what, we, uh, what we've got. Okay, so if you're in the restoration markets, this is what your parts should look like. Um, if the abrasive particles are still good inside of the machine and they're not broken down, these are the finishes that you're going to achieve. It's really hard to see with the light, uh, but it's a very bright satin finish. Uh, this is with a medium to fine mixture glass bead abrasive and water mixed together. Um, and that's, that's the finishes that you're going to get. But, you know, one of the things that, again, you're going to notice is the finish is going to turn towards a matte finish. It's not going to be this beautiful satin finish when the abrasive particle breaks down. And again, what that means is the particle has broken down you have more broken particles um, than, than actually good whole glass beads. So those broken particles are going to be etching the surface with their sharp edge. And again, that's you know what determines the, the finish or the outcome from a, a wet system. It's all based off of the edge profile of the abrasive. So if the abrasive particles are still good and intact, you're going to get these beautiful satin finishes if they're broken down and they're little shards of, of glass, then they're going to etch the surface and create a matte finish. So hope that helps.